Now, here we go. Wait, does that look different than Wilderness? Because Wilderness as a whole looked very dark area. This is also a little bit dark, but not as dark as Wildy. And also, there's a bunch of these torches that illuminate or illuminate the light. I don't know what the word is. I forgot. Both of them did not sound correct. But the ice is goddamn beautiful. You actually feel like you're in an icy place. Wait, let me turn this off again. Let's see by default. Man, what is this white thing? It looks it looks like a snow, right? Snowy, but these pillars make no sense because they also look like snow. The blue right rocks make more sense because they look like actual ice. But if you turn this on, now suddenly everything looks icy. And here are people training on skeletal vibrance. How do these look like? Yeah, they kind of look icy as well. Wait, if I turn this off. Yeah, if you turn this off, this looks very... Just why? Wait, what? What? This is the plugin of Runelight. Yeah, Runelight still had like this is the 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 before you know the GPU plugin. It still looks very wide. So, God damn, you can't see this. This is one of the most beautiful places. Probably the best place that I've visited so far. Hello everyone. I'm gonna click here to play right now. I can clearly see it's not configured properly. So this is the HD plugin that everyone was talking about. The one one sevens. Hmm. Yes. What if you do none? Uh, what the what? Wait, that's pretty cool. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> well, I guess this is a dungeon, so you can't really see the increased draw distance. But I do love how everything looks up close, like the the whole model of of my character. You see, the blowpipe looks a little bit bluish, maybe. That's again because I put the settings like this. So if, if I put like default, I guess that's not the setting. I don't know. Like I'm gonna put this back to the highest. It looks good to me. Looks very colorful. I do love how polished everything looks all right we're gonna try out other places i'm gonna go to karamjana whoa this is i love that contrast thing that i didn't because the green the grass looks so green like that spot especially yes 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 indeed looks very uh, this is how i would play yes it may be too many colors for some of you but i love this so i also put the shadows uh this may actually look uh, very different wow that makes such a huge difference if you put them on and off. Well, let's uh, put them back on. Wow, yeah, yeah. There's definitely way more detail when you put them on. Let's see how Karamja looks like. Yes, the water. But wait, is that how the water looked like in, the, in those pictures? I think there could be a setting for that as well. Because this is one of the places where I would always go to check out the, the graphics for this. So clearly, you can see the draw distance did not work for me. Which you do simple water. That's how it normally looks like. And this is the upgraded water. Oh, now I can see a little bit. You see that glare? That's what I was looking for. Because initially, I did not see it. So I thought maybe my settings were wrong. And now if I turn off the shadows once again, uh, that thing disappears from here. Okay, and... This, this is almost like the default. It looks like the clearest out of all. And this is more blurred. And you can see... I don't know what kind of shadow... Wait, may, maybe like my own uh, character model. You, you can see... Oh, it's, <laughs> I, I, like maybe there's more settings, but you can see it's a little bit blurred out, isn't it? As you can see like a little bit pixelated. Uh, maybe that is the setting. And this is the clearest one out of all. So by default, it should be... It's on 30, but you can set it even clearer... To 20 so i'm gonna keep it uh at this one. Oh yeah definitely that was the setting for the shadows look, look how clear you can see almost every uh pixel from your blowpipe like the, the wings everything when you kind of move around while the previous one you could see it was all kinds of pixels now a very important one is the tazar okay tazar oh this lightning see it's on it's just like in those pictures there's lightning uh, on the NPCs. Now, the Tazar place is something that I hate. I didn't like how it looked in 2008. This is how it looks like. It just... What is this, dude? It's it's bad for my eyes. It feels like, what am I looking at? This is like, looks okay. If you if you put the camera like this, yeah, this is not bad. Put it like this, and it's like, ah, all kinds of stuff. Apparently, what is this? Tazar reskin? Is that gonna remove it? Or is that the default? It's still pretty bad. <laughs> Wait, is that the default Tazar? I forgot how this place even looks like. Let's start going to Grand Exchange. I want to see the other players' models. How do they look like? I do have animation smoothing, by the way. I enabled it specifically for this video. The HD client does not uh, provide it specifically. You can see how smooth the alking is. It's just because I enabled it. It's not part of the plugin. You can disable it anytime you want. 
just maybe for more authentic HD experience, I thought I would enable it. They have to be using the HD plugin. That's the only reason why they did that. There's a white one as well in here. Wow, I don't have this pet on this account. I had like four Phoenix pets, but none of them on this account. I would pull my, my own as well, but damn. Anyone have blue phoenix? Also the fire on the ground. There is green light on the walls instead of like normal one. Obviously that's like expected, but uh, he even thought of that as well from both sides. The room crafting pet is also glowing inside the the orb itself. Ah, uh, ah, uh, yeah, there we go. Now, when I was scrolling through here, actually the bricks look pretty nice. God damn, what is this, dude? That's like maximum HD. Is this, uh, are we playing RuneScape here? Like, Jesus, it looks like Minecraft. RTX, you know what I mean? Those videos, if you've seen them, there's more light. Oh, I, I love how that guy was standing over it. And, and you can see the green light on your own character just, just glowing like this. Yeah, look look him. Look at him. He has, oh, yes. Even like the standard places, like this is Edgeville. And just because the Edgeville has this torch in here, it gives way more uh, lively feeling in here. Because you can see more and more, there's multiple torches around here too. Uh, this gets a little bit uh, darker in here because maybe there's supposed to be a roof in here. Uh, so it's like, uh, you know, I actually can't wait to go to Baldi. Wait, I, l let me uh, put everything off because that's what I spent a lot of time before. Dude, I was doing the crewman drive. Now I'm female. That's bald. God damn it. All right, there we go. Wilderness. Now the, oh, wait, I have my Kraken. Whoa, Jesus. Is that lightning? Epilepsy warning. Well, I, I enabled that myself. I don't think that's enabled by default. Do not. Do not attack. <laughs> what the f dude? Why is Will? I forgot I'm in World Two. Get get away! It's my Kraken pet. No, it's lightning still. It's spooky. Get me out of here. Thank you. Oh, this looks blue now. It was so dark when I wasn't there. <laughs> the teleport here is blue. Wait, I'm gonna teleport it back a little bit. This water in here, it, it changed instead of water. Now it's like a more like a cosmic. A thing that's happening which I guess would make more sense since you get like sucked in uh, but I think it's still supposed to be water but that's how they made it in here how does that place look like in here so wait let me just actually show you again this is how the place looks right now with the plugin if I turn this off right now this is the default runescape oh my god <laughs> oh my this looks so bad. You see, the one reason that I may not be as surprised when I go through these clips is because recently, for the past 10 months, I've been playing RuneScape 3. So I kind of got used to like different types of graphics and all kinds of like, um, um, I don't know, like uh, mists in the sky, you know, and so on. It still looks very cool, but now that I turn it off, this is the default draw distance as well in the default client this would be. Obviously, it has its own charm, but for those who would prefer to play this in HD, I mean, goddamn, you turn it back on right now, it, what is this? It's a completely different world. I, I gave too little credit to this. Really curious how the whole snow looks like. Ooh, looks a little bit discolored now, it's not anymore. Yeah, it changed now. N now it looks good. <laughs> Oh my god, this does remind me so much of RuneScape 3. Darkscape specifically. This is, was one of my thumbnails where I took a screenshot here standing in this specific place and I titled the video, this looks beautiful, something like that. So again, most of you will not have this, but I have to take this off. So, so I, <laughs> that was a big flashbang of white colors immediately. <laughs> I have to take the plugin off all the time because I have to see how it was before and I can put it back on. Thank you. God damn it, man. Oh, this is such a good job he made. Also, I don't know how it was for colorblind people, but there are three settings right now that you can uh, switch around if you wish to do so. So if you're colorblind, you may see uh, things more properly, or at least more recognizably. Oh, <laughs> the, the Pripdidas. Uh, too many accidental shows. Okay, wait, I want to go to the uh, home portal. I don't know why, I just love the color green. I think I oversaturated, so it's way too green, but I just love the way it looks. The the pools, yeah, the pool of rejuvenation. Uh, as far as I remember, it used to be extremely plain, so let me turn the plugin off, and it, it yeah, it just, I, I didn't know it was moving, actually, so at least that, would, that detail was not taken. This is the default. Put it back on, baby. Yeah. Okay, so I put everything to default, like the coloring and stuff. Maybe it was a little bit too bright. It didn't change that much. It's pretty much the same thing, I would say. This guy, th this guy's uh, fashionscape is amazing. Even the amulet, the colors around him, 
the Vorky pet. Now let's turn this off. And wait, uh, did the oh, it's I think it's from the flames. You see how the it, it's white, his armor. But if I put this on, it becomes bluish just because from the lighting from the fires. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love it. Well, what a what a huge difference <laughs> this the whole thing makes. Oh, it's from the pet. I thought it was boots of lightning. It's a temporal pet that's making that uh, light below his feet even if i go under it usually things disappear you know like the objects like it, the temporal pet just disappeared but the actual lighting it's still below me so it looks like on um some holy land right now how does ellie look like yeah wow man turn this off wow that actually looks like a glass now like an actual see-through nice good glass wait let me turn this off one more time incredible ah yes the Zaya wait let me turn on the HD plugin Man, it looks so clean look at the tiles it's just super clean there's shadows there's this guy chilling there's cakes the guards are walking everything looks just mwah, clean now let's go inside and let's investigate the statue I want to see what if I would do Slayer because there's a bunch of crystals that may supposed to be glowing a little bit like these guys you see right here so i'm gonna put this off again just default very much blends in in the background in here i i don't think i even noticed that there are crystals in here it looks like part of the the rocks in here but now you can see them a little bit more uh clearer and you can see if you zoom in and if you just wait a little bit you can see how dynamically the the, the whole thing changes as you stay in one place as one of them glows and then Close out. Love it. Kill this guy. How come these NPCs have so much HP? Damn, I got too used to RuneScape 3. You're supposed to be one-shotting them. This, this is medium-level content. All right, I'm going to go to Canifus for this one, maybe. The last thing that I want to check are spells, because apparently they have some nice bloom when you shoot things. You see glows up and then shoots to this. Wait, now it's a proper NPC. Excellent. So let's shoot the Earth spell. Yeah. The lighting just follows it. Wait, is there a trail? There is a trail, actually. Yep. What about this blast spell? Pew. Nice, nice, nice. And a fire spell. Yeah, lights up. So if you want to check this plugin out, go to settings of Runelight client, then go to plugin hub and type in 117 and it's going to be 117 HD beta. I would not suggest you to use this on the hardcore Ironman because it is in beta stage and the client could crash and it all depends on your hardware as well. Maybe it cannot handle some kind of uh, shades or something and it's just going to crash the client. Don't use it in any risky situations like even PKing. Uh, everything's at your own risk basically. Uh, thank you very much for watching though. Bye!